okay in this video and in next few videos we will try to build a app from scratch and while doing that we will also discuss about different splunk functionalities like how to add logo to your app create modular input and scripted input for your app create dashboard and add javascript to that so we'll discuss all those all those features so before before we start this is the use case of our app so there is a website called the movie database okay so what we will do we will hit their api get the data and index into splunk and make dashboard out of it okay so tmdb provides uh, a free service where uh, you can register to their website and you will get your own api key by using that api key uh, you can hit their different apis let me let me show you their api as well to go to their api documentation you need to go to developers.tmdbmoviedb.org so their their api uh, supports a uh, lot of features like you can you can know what are the upcoming movies by if you see this left hand side they have a pretty good number of apis uh, is like movies change list the collections different movie images collections movies production companies uh, collections and as well as you will get you will find the movie by id so what, what whatever a typical movie website displays in their website those information you can get easily by using their apis even movie genres if you see here and different types of movie uh, apis so after you free register their website you need to go to your profile settings okay and from there you need to go to this api so there will be an api key listed over there you need to use this api key for all of your uh, api purpose api uh, api call purpose okay uh, so this is what this is how you we use this movie database is uh, for 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 our own analysis purpose IMDB also has similar kind of APIs, but that is payable version. So that's why I uh, I am using this movie database here. But one thing you need to remember that when you are using their services, you need to tell them this is the TMDB is the source of your data. Okay. So now without wasting time, let us create our app first. Okay. So I'll do the initial setup first, then we will uh, work accordingly. So I'm going to do settings now clicking on create app I'll give the name TMDV okay I'll give full uppercase TMDV folder name I'll just give TMDV version I'll give 1.0.0 visible is yes author is Siddhartha description is the movie database okay barebone temple click on save okay our app has been created if you uh, go over there in the splunk uh, folder etc and then apps the tmdb folder created now after that what i will do um, I'll go to apps TMDB now. If you see all these different uh, menu options are coming up, so I'll just remove this. I'll just only keep the search and dashboards here. To do that, I'm going to search user interface, navigation menus, TMDB by default is to an app here. I'll go to default and I'll keep this search. I'll keep this dashboard. Rest of the stuff I'll delete. Okay. Okay, that's done. Now, if you see here, 
those are gone now what i'll do i'll create an index so that whatever data will be indexing from the tmdb website that will go to that index to do that i'm going to settings then indexes okay new index i'll give the index name tmdb underscore index okay it will, it will have events these are home path cold path and throat path are optional uh, if you don't give Splunk will automatically choose this one so i will discuss this concepts about this index paths different paths in separate video i'll give in a enable of data integrity check maximum size i'll give just 500 gb that is also auto maximum size of all the different paths that's fine there is no frozen paths and app i will give tmdb only so that the index will be created uh, index.conf file will be created inside the tmdb app okay now click on save so it created my tmdb index now if you see if i go to my tmdb app and i go to local folder there is a indexes.conf created okay and if you see the content of it so it just have a uh, stanza called tmdb underscore index which is our uh, index name and then different configurations here so if you package this particular file within your app so whenever people will be installing their app this index will be automatically created for them okay now in the next video what we will do is we will try go ahead and add logo to our app okay see you in next video